Hello. Today's video, we are going to look at projecting materials and static meshes onto a virtual textured landscape. Okay, today's going to be a little different. Uh, I've started off, we're just going to make a material. And what we're going to do is we're going to end up using this for virtual textures. So I'm just naming this, I'm putting a vector three, naming it color so we can go back to that later. Uh, and this is going to be so that we can actually project to our virtual textures. Uh, so first things first, I need to change the material type to virtual texture. And this just makes it easier uh, so that we can uh, have an easier setup in the long run. Uh, and now we can see which uh, settings are still enabled for us. I'm just placing some default controls in here and it's literally this easy. Now I can take this material if I want to. Uh, I'm just setting some default control, default settings. And then from here, I can literally just compile it and it's gonna take a second. I wanted to make sure that I didn't just speed through this. I'm making them all parameters for you guys. Uh, and then All right, I'm just making sure to comment it. If you guys want to take a screenshot, here you go. Uh, there's plenty of time. Uh... All right, now here are some material examples of using this material and where we would use it. First, I'm gonna go to landscape mode and I'm just gonna apply uh, we're gonna make some landscape splines and apply a select segments and make a plane from there make sure that material is assigned and Now we can actually project once I fix the Z fighting uh, We can actually project this on the landscape. All we got to do is we got to scroll down in segments and find uh, that virtual texture so that we can actually tell it hey don't render this in the main pass render this in the virtual texture pass okay we make sure we selected the right thing and there you go that's it uh the rest of the video from here is going to just be examples of how to use this uh but there you go it's that fast we just in two minutes you started to use it okay now that I got that covered, uh, here I'm just gonna make a couple more examples. Uh, and while that's happening, I wanted to say, if you are interested in learning more about virtual textures, uh, I will have a link below to when Epic did a Unreal live stream on the topic and kind of covered what we just did. I just wanted to have there be a quick video that people could do access this information in less than five minutes. Uh, and from here, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, Hit that follow button, like the video, all that, share it, uh, so that I can continue making videos like this if you are interested in them. Uh, I hope that it was helpful. And uh, if you want this project, I made it available to people that are subscribed to me on Patreon and Twitch uh, through my Discord. Uh, or if you want to learn more about this and other things, uh, feel free to follow me on Twitch and I do live streams. Uh, often <laughs> uh, of Unreal and game development in general. Uh, all that stuff will be down below. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, and yeah, see you later, guys.